my gosh! see what happens guys I'm trying a new fish or new reservoir today but you know I get the raft out for once in a long time <laughs> and anyways gonna be fishing some balanced leeches just have a black leech on there a little bit of blue on it as well and if you can't see that nice little chronomid as well pretty small chronomid get to give it a run and anyways it's a beautiful day man no wind perfect day to get it out Ended up making ourselves an anchor just so we can sit still, uh, but should be good. I don't know if you guys are victim of, the, victim of this, but leave in the comments, are you a clean fly guy? Where after you use your flies, you end up putting everything away and you like nice straight lines? Or do you just throw them in the box like I do and just lose them throughout the day and pick out one that's just floating on the top because used to like it clean but there's just not enough time for that just throw them in well off she is if you guys saw i was going to back this trailer up into the water you probably would have been more entertained by that than us dragging it here because it would have taken me at least 30 minutes so we just cut the time in half and pulled it on down in here. <laughs> All right, guys, so tip, obviously, if you're out in the raft and you're gonna be fishing just below you here, um, we have an anchor, well, a rock anchor. Just tie the rock on the line um, to no bottom. But this is another tip here. Pinch your hemostats on here, drop them down. All the way down, let's drop them down. And we can find exactly bottom. So right there, there's bottom. So I know about roughly right there, right where the water line ends. Right about here, I drop an indicator and our bugs are perfectly going to be floating on the bottom there. Elevate our flies just a hair. That way we're not touching bottom. We're a couple inches off the bottom. All right, perfect. Hemostats are back in action. The There's one. Oh no, gotta keep up. Oh, nice one guys. Dude, just trolling bugs here. Not really, we lost the rock anchor pulling up on our last drift and hooked up. Fish feels really nice too. Oh yeah, dude. All I can tell you is I called it. You did? Spot, at least. Yeah, you did. Dude, that's a nice fish, bro. That's a really nice fish, dude. Buddy might take me to back in here. Such a good fight, man. Just tossing and turning down there. Gorgeous fish, too. Ate the leech, man. Oh, 
dude, awesome way to start it off, bro. Like wow, buddy's been towing us around, dude. Like fish is 24 inch fish. Dude, absolute odd. Great way to start it off, man. Literally lost the anchor on the bass spot, and we we're like, you know what? Let's just cast out, see what happens, and cast out, fed it some line, and Noah got over there. I'm looking at him and looking around, looking at the scenery, really. And uh, I look back and I'm like, wait a minute. There's only one indicator out there now. <laughs> sure enough, this guy here had the other one. Oh yeah, bro. Give me something, homie. Good way to start it off, man. Hey. Let's go find yourself another rock and just post up over there. <laughs> All right, man. Gosh, we're snoozing, dude. Looking at the mountains. At the boat? <laughs> Looking at the mountains, and I look back, and that indicator's gone. Another nice one. Oh. Man, we've been hard working hard for you, buddy. Come on. Yeah. You on that? Okay. Ready? Nice, dude. Oh, he spit it. Just spit, Just spit it, man. It really? Tagged. No shot. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's crazy. An old tag, all weedy. Oh, guys, it's been an absolute grind, man. It's been tough fishing. Roughly about a fishing hour. Noah hooked up, stripping in a leech, and, uh, Anyways, ended up losing them, unfortunately. But, we ended up getting another chance here. Another fat fish. Wet the hands. Oh, he's so fat, can't even get him around the tail. Oh, look at that. Buddy is eating amazing out here. Look at that, I mean, he just fills my hand up. Straight it. There's your tag right there. You can see, we'll get the numbers and read off. If there's anything cool information, we'll definitely, uh, definitely share, but. Awesome fish, right? We're using a rock as an anchor. <laughs> rock as an anchor, it's not heavy enough. We're moving all over the place out here. But you know We're what? testing our patience. The fishing is just good enough to stay. It's, it's just on the verge of being like, dude, let's go take out. Let's go pull out and go find another lake around here. But if you cast enough times to catch a tiger muskie, you can eventually bounce on one of these guys' head and catch them on the same old black and blue leech. So, anyways, see if we don't bonk one in the head again. Oh, jeez. At your feet, dude. At your feet, bro. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, dude. Epic. <laughs> don't want them in the boat, bro. Oh my gosh. Hot fish, man. Oh. <sighs> nice, dude. Hey. Just Let's go. Just Good spin it. Dude, heck yeah. Oh, guys. This fish is wrong on this fish is rad, guys.
Well done, brother. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had a rainbow like chase to the boat. Like that browns, bulls, even cutthroat, but I don't think I've ever had a rainbow like chase into the boat like that. That was awesome. These fish are wild. Bunch of champions right there, baby. Hot and spicy, chicken flavor. Yeah. Well guys, a little midday to update for you. Clearly, we got some hot and spicy chicken ramen rolling. A little spicy tea too. And <laughs> anyways, day really picked up. Uh, you know, started off really slow. Last two fish have been pretty quick. We don't got a whole lot of time left to fish, but Hopefully, able to catch another fish or two. And uh, anyways, nice just post up. Really cool though, crazy just to think of how many fish are probably in this lake and the fact that we caught a tagged fish. If there's any cool information on that fish, I'll make sure to post it with that fish. Um, but I mean, that's just so rare. It's gotta be the craziest thing ever. Just sitting in this desert oasis, casting away to these wild trout and just they're so feisty when you hook them. Something about a still water eat just gets you going, man. Just something about fishing, man. Something about fly fishing. Something about getting out here, catching fish. Always wanting that next bigger fish. And just whatever we're chasing out here is pretty special, man. So, midday update. What do you got to say? Oh, that was beautiful. Snaps. Beautiful. That was poetry. Dude, take a bite of oh, that, bro. Oh, dude, take dude, a bite dude. of that because I'm about to. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's ready. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's ready. Save some for me, bro. We're out here, guys. Delicimo, oh, and smell. then chase it. A little spicy tea. Nothing better. There's nice. nothing better than this, guys. Right here, right now. It's great. Yes. Good thing you were looking, brother. Shaker. Like his little guy. Of course, dude. The second look away, bro. It just never fails, dude. As soon dude. as you twitched it, it just went doop. It just never fails. Good eye. Good eye, though, man. Not as big, but hey. Guys, have you ever been halibut fishing? I can imagine uh, it goes a little like, a little like this here. Sitting, staring at nothing. Nice net. <laughs> Until something thunks it. Except these fish actually give you some nice head shakes, some shakes. It's not just reeling up a big wet sock. But hey, nice fish, dude. Tell you what. Every fish is just fat, though. Later, buddy. Jeez, as soon as you twitch it, as soon as you twitch it, as soon as you twitch it, just, and look away. Yeah, <laughs> twitch it and look look away. I think is the biggest thing. The the twitching part, I don't know. I mean, sure, you can say it worked, but I think it was the fact that I heard some noise in the bushes, and my ADHD was like, huh, what was that? So I look over, and all I hear is shit. After I don't know, 30 minutes of sitting staring at nothing. So. Sounds about right, man. If that's not how fishing goes, that's how fishing goes. Let's let's do it again, though. Let's wait another 30 minutes for that to happen again because you never know. Well, when I'm sagging like this, when the next one's gonna eat, man.
Oh my gosh, dude, just drain that thing. <laughs> there he is. Oh my gosh. Just wants to jump. There he goes, dude. He's just floating, just inches below the water. Wow. Well, lost everything I just gained. So fun on the still water too, just chrome. Big head shakes. Big head shakes. <laughs> oh. Gonna need to switch arms here in a minute, man. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy, man. Bright and chrome down there. He's fat. Well, that's about it for him, man. Buddy, I would have paid for that fight. I would have paid for that fight, dude. Wow. Oh my gosh. Just unbelievable, man. That whole fight, literally that indicator, even when it was a hundred yards out there, I kid you not, that indicator was just floating above the surface. So clearly that fish was just just playing with inches of water. He knew what he was doing and he knew how he could have shaken off, but buddy, not this time, man. Thanks for taking my fly though. <laughs> Ritz, Ritz, go, man. Just spit too. Just spit. The net. That might wow. be your heaviest rainbow you've ever caught. <sighs> it's close. It's absolutely close, man. It's, you guys know me, big rainbow slayer out here. Any other fish? Maybe not, but that's a fat <laughs> rainbow trout, man. Show that fish. That's the people I see. Look at that thing. Put your hand up. It would be lying if it wasn't on the same nymph, man. There you go. Wow. She is just ginormous, man. Look at that hue on that cheek. It's like a mirror. I can almost see myself, my reflection in it. That was perfect, bro. Bro, that, that was, was such a sick fight. Like, I've literally never seen a cooler eat in my entire dude, life just, on an indicator, too. That's like, the second eat today. Dude, I was watching it, too. Like, I was stripping or whatever, and all of a sudden, that just, just, he just runs with it. He just came just by and sick. just drive by. Yeah, he's just, like, yeah, I'm going to take this and go home with it. Bring it back to the fam like a bird, dude. <laughs> just bring it as... Bringing the worms back to the nest. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane, dude. Epic, dude. Way to fight him, too. That reel deserves. That reel some deserves love. a medal. It deserves some love. I might just have to mount it and get myself a new one here. <laughs> there you go, man. Wow. That fish fat enough? You guys think he's eating leeches down there or what? I think so. I think he's a big fan of leeches. I'm tired, but here you go. 
does. Guys, this wind has helped a ton. I can't explain how much. When still water fishing, yeah, you want to look for days where it's nice weather and you're not going to get blown around town, but at the same time, just that wake, able to just give you a nice slow drift, move those flies, give them some action. That, that fly is just on a jig hook. It's just down there, jigging away. And when it's just so still, it's tough. It's really tough. I mean, that fly is just sitting down there. you got to give it its action, you know, popping it in, you know, giving it anything under an indicator, stripping, whatever. But when you got this wind, man, you can just lay it out there and just like a river, you let it work. You let it work for you. So we let these last couple fish work for us and day started off, you know, two fish within four or five hours and it's now ending on, it's ending on a high note. So it's ending, what, three, four fish now in the last hour, hour and a half. So I wouldn't doubt we get some more. If we get another one that fights like that, I'd be beyond blessed. But at the moment, I'm pretty content with where I'm at. So let's see if we can't get no another fish. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you haven't checked out this video right here, you got to click on it. Catching absolutely huge rainbows out of this tiny stream. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in that video. Tight lines. Like and subscribe. Peace out.